I'm Nikki and welcome to my Megara tutorial. Her name is Megara, but you can call her Meg. At least you can if you are her friend. She's the spicy heroine from Hercules and the Disney character I was really low-key obsessed with as a kid. Her hair is quite the middle finger to physics and to wig stylists everywhere, with the strange shape of her huge ponytail, wild side bangs, and cute sideburn curl hair thingies. I don't, I don't know what they're called. Things we want to keep in our adaptation of Meg's hair are volume, Disney magic, and length. To recreate this iconic ponytail, we will be using a lot of wigs from our sponsor, Epic Cosplay Wigs. For the base of the wig, we'll be using Phoebe in medium brown, and for the extensions, we'll be using one 18-inch extension in the same color, and four 50-inch extensions in medium brown. To start, put the base wig on your head and get an idea of how those bangs are going to work for you. Then rework the ponytail to your desired height. That wig on your wig head. Mine's name is Jonathan and he's the real wonder boy of any Disney film. I'm just making sure the ponytail is nice and secure. Then hairspray it all down to keep it as in place as possible. Now we're going to go into some crazy arts and crafts to make the base of Wig's crazy weird ponytail. If you saw my dark wicked lady tutorial, you already are very familiar with how I build stuff for my wigs. For Meg, it's no different aside in shape. I'm taking this weird foam thing I found in Hobby Lobby and wrapping it in brown felt because it was cheapest. I already measured the foam piece to my desired size and are going right into carving a hole into it to attach the ponytail to the base wig. Cut off all the excess ponytail from the wig and make sure your foam creation fits. In my case, it did. Back to arts and crafts, I'm covering the base with the felt as carefully as I can. I'm sure that all is covered as efficiently as possible and lathering it in glue like my life depends on it because I don't want this wig ever coming undone. Now that the base is made, we're going to snip off the tie-on things of the extensions and glue them to the base we just made. I layer a 50-inch piece, then the 18-inch piece. I'm using and highly recommend Gorilla Super Glue. While that bad boy dries, let's make some bangs. Start by side-sweeping the bangs of the base wig. Clip it in place. And start in on one of her sideburn curly things. Still don't know what it's called. Due to how this wig is made, I ended up cutting the area where her hair would be parted to the very edge of the wig. I did this to better replicate her hairline, and when I wear this wig, I color my actual hair brown to blend it in better. I also thin and layer the segment of hair that I will curl later. Now go in, thin out, and add layers to the most voluptuous part of her bangs. Put the wig back on Jonathan and tidy up all the styling you just did. Then go into curling it using the flat iron and wrapping it around a dowel object of your choice. My favorite dowel objects are hairbrush handles, sharpies, and anything else I can get my little gremlin hands on. Onto that bang volume. Tease and hairspray up that section to your heart's desire. Taking a note from my deflated all my tutorial, I clamp the hair up as the hairspray dries to help it keep its volume. When it dries, I curl, cut, and style the hair into the shape I want for this section of Meg's hair. I'm kind of going for an Ariel side swept shape, but with more curls. Figuring out the bang shape was difficult since they're animated so strangely, so I looked to Meg's dolls for inspiration on how the hair would be styled, and used them as sort of a base image. Weirdly enough, the dolls are a great reference for Disney characters. Thank you. 
Now to attach the ponytail we made. I went through a long range of strange methods to try to get this thing on and the one that is easiest and most efficient is to put a nail through the wig and through the ponytail then skewer the ponytail thing we just built onto it. No joke, this is what keeps the ponytail in place best because it's so heavy and it keeps on the wig well. The most important thing to keep in mind for this is to make sure you super glue the hell out of it to keep it in place. You really don't want this wig moving under any circumstances. I also used nails to nail the ponytail base into the wig. I used roofing nails that I had on hand for making auto mail. Be sure when you're nailing them in that you go into the ponytail. You probably won't enjoy having a nail go into your skull. With the ponytail literally nailed into the wig, I'm going into curling and adding volume to the ponytail of the wig using similar techniques as I did for the bangs of the wig. This took a long time and I ended up redoing a lot of my work just because these extensions are so thick and long. I also pin the curls once they're curled and let them stay that way until they're cool. This took a lot of time to do since I had to wait for the fibers to cool. Don't be afraid to do this in sections and be sure you have a rad playlist going in the background or something or Netflix going on. This process is a lot of curling, teasing, brushing, hairspray curling, brushing, questioning your life choices, getting a decent arm workout and considering your life choices again. So even with all of this hair, it still was not enough. I ordered an extra two 50 inch extensions to put on the sides of the ponytail base. I wanted there to be a more fluid gradation between the 18 inch extensions and the 50 inch. So I put these two in to cut to a halfway point between the other two lengths. I adhered them using my BFF Gorilla Glue. Then I cut and styled them into the rest of my ponytail and through the power of editing, I will not make you endure watching me do this process for the millionth time. And here is the last shot of how the wig looked on the wig head before I was done. Now here I am at KatsuCon wearing the full cosplay. This wig was the hardest build I've done thus far. It was also very heavy and gives me a headache when I wear it and requires about 30 bobby pins just to keep it on my head. Wearing Mega Katsu, I lasted about three to four hours, but after that I was ready to get this wig, which raised as much as a newborn child, off my head. But anyways, thank you guys so much for all the kind compliments from KatsuCon goers and for Kenny, my amazing friend who got all this B-roll for me. I'd also like to thank Epic Cosplay Wigs for supplying all of this hair and for sponsoring this tutorial. If you decide to use this tutorial to style your own nutmeg, please tag me on whatever social media you use. And also, if you want to see a live action recreation of Won't Say I'm In Love, please consider joining my Patreon or just sharing this video to spread the love. Also, let me know in the description below what other tutorials you'd like to see in the future. Anyways, thanks so much again. I'll see you next time.